The dating scene in Abilene can be scary, especially with the rise of dating apps and meeting people on social media. The dating world can get dangerous if you are not on the lookout. Two Abilene women are dedicating a class to do just that. They will talk about doing the background check and finding those red flags. Our Mariah Williams tells us the red flags to look out for. It gives you like free public records. At XL Securities, certain requests have been on the rise. We um, get a lot of phone calls from people um, about background checks. Now co-owners Jessica Papp and Darla Townsend are hoping to help out others find the red flags. They portray to be something they're not and then you find out you know they're, they're an addict. You find out that's not the person in the picture. Townsend does the extra research for her friends, helping some dodge a bullet. I have a, a friend that was dating a guy, and we did do our research. We and he did have a criminal history, but things like a simple deep dive on a search browser can save a life. There's a lot of public resources that are out there that these women can do this on their own because obviously it is not economical and it's not affordable for every woman or man or whoever to spend money. You know. Calling a, a private investigator. Something Judge Shauna Joyner sees in her courtroom and has experienced herself. I am a survivor of domestic violence. When you get into a relationship, seem like they're very sweet and kind and considerate. Judge Joyner joined forces with the organization to ensure others know the signs before getting in too deep. Many times if you don't handle the situation when you realize that there is a situation, it can either number one go too far or number two you can repeat it. From searching their profile images to running their name through public jail records, the course aims to teach key identifiers in finding the red flags. Reporting in Abilene, I'm Mariah Williams, KRBC Abilene's Local News. Thank you, Mariah. The class is still accepting people. It will be tomorrow from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m.